What's going on to all of my Sagittarius? Let's get into it. How y'all doing, by the way? All right, so. All right, so let's get into it for the Sagittarius. All right. So you Sagittarius have got the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Hold on. Let me just adjust this here. Let me adjust this. There we go. Okay, there we go. The Page of, of uh, Cups, like I was talking about, the a Chariot, the Temperance, Six of Wands, Judgment, the Death Card, the Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is how a lot of you, um, a lot of you Sagittarius, right? The Nine of Pentacles represents how you should be ignoring certain people who are trying to get on your nerves. What people? People that you are already connected to because they were actually, right? Page of Cups, the Chariot, they're actually trying to reach out to you, right? Telling you some nonsense about how it is, you know, blah, 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 blah trying to act like they asking you some questions yeah you Sagittarius still have to ignore them even if they're reaching out to you don't say anything whatsoever at all ever because saying i'm not talking to you is not the same as actually not talking to them it's not because saying that you're not talking to them by definition is talking to them if you're going to not talk to somebody don't so the thing is that because this person is delusional. This person still think that they got you caught up. And to a certain extent, if you are a Sagittarius, I'm going to put it like this. If you are a Sagittarius and you still playing that tit for tat game, you still caught up. Because what did I what did I suggest for you, Sagittarius? Because Sagittarius do, uh, used to do that, right? Well, the ones over here used to do that. Y'all don't do that anymore. But Sagittarius in general do that. You go back and forth with the person. You supposedly don't like the person, but at the same time, you still text them every now and again. No, don't text them at all, ever anymore, at all. You stay away. If you're done with somebody, you then be done with them, right? The temperance and the six of wands represents, the temperance is Sagittarius. So you did show up in your own reading. The temperance and the six of wands represents now you see what it is now I'm talking about. You Sagittarius who take my advice and listen to what it is. Oh, it's about to rain. Take my advice and who listen to what it is that I have to say and you're not texting, you're not calling, you're not doing any of that. You Sagittarius are actually seeing the value in what it is that I'm saying. Because now that you're not texting, you're not calling, you're not doing any of that. Now, these people are like, wow, I wonder what the Sagittarius is doing. Let me text. Them. Let me call them. Let me see what they got going on. And you Sagittarius are just like. You're not saying anything. You're not texting them. You're not trying to get back together with them at all. So you've done essentially that. You haven't necessarily put their number on block. Because that's because that's taking up the data in your phone, right? But at the same time, you Sagittarius, you have more self control. You have better self control because now you Sagittarius understand you're right. I don't have to text and call this person. I'm not. I'm not obligated to do that, and you're not obligated to do that. So why obligate yourself to do that? The judgment which is Sagittarius, the judgment. Well, the judgment is actually fire. It doesn't, it, it doesn't spe uh, specify what fire's zodiac sign, whether it's Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It just means fire. But obviously, talking about Sagittarius represents fire, talking about y'all. So the judgment, the death card, and the ace of swords represents what? It represents you, Sagittarius, being done with them when they're trying to come back and say what up and acting like they're, you know, acting like they real ones and trying to reach out to you and they're not going anywhere. They did go somewhere already. They did go somewhere. 
when the two of you were trying to work it out, what happened? They did go somewhere. They did ghost you. They did give you a hard time. Right? And to help you Sagittarius step your own game up, a lot of you Sagittarius do help people. But the way that you go about helping people, you end up putting yourself in a worse situation. And you know that I'm not, I'm not, I don't dislike y'all because you know there's going to be some goofy in the comment section, you don't like Sagittarius, even though I love my brother and my brother's a Sagittarius. He's not even living in, in, in the state. He's living all the way up north. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Even though the person who put me on to this knowledge in the first place, way at the beginning when I was 14, I'm 31 now, 17 years ago, is a Sagittarius. See him every now and again. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but you know, the ones who are going to come to the comment section. But the point is, is that um, with Sagittarius, though, Sagittarius, a lot of y'all like to help people. But the problem is, is that the way that a lot of y'all do it, it's ratchet. It's real half-baked. And I'm saying it not to clown y'all. I'm saying it so that y'all can be more meticulous about how y'all go about doing your thing. Because let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I know of a Sagittarius right now, the same one who put me on, who with somebody. And even though this Sagittarius loves the person that they're with and they have a family together, if you catch my drift, the things that was coming out about this person that the Sagittarius was with was, with, was astonishing to the Sagittarius. And it's like you you paying all the bills, you're cooking, you're doing all this other type of stuff. But this person will come to me. This person will be like, yo, this person, the Sagittarius come to me. This person doesn't cook. They don't clean. They don't do anything. They don't take care of the of the the the, the offspring that they have. They don't do any of that. They're like, I'm the one doing all this stuff. And then on top of that, this person is trying to stress me out. So I'm I'm looking at the Sagittarius. Remember, this is the person who put me on. So now the roles have exchanged, has has changed hands. Now I'm putting, I'm putting them on. So so I'm telling the Sagittarius, I'm like, yo, you got to get away from such such, or come to grips with it that this is the the dynamic. And the person that was a hard pill to swallow for the Sagittarius. The, now the Sagittarius is still with the person, right? The other person is a cancer crab. This is why I'm trying to tell you that cancer crabs and Sagittarius, that's 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 not a very good mix. Like, you know, PMB Rock was a Sagittarius. The the the, the person that PMB Rock is with is a cancer crab. Who who got it? The Sagittarius got it. You know what I'm saying? The Sagittarius with the cancer crab always gets it. They always get the bad end of the stick. That's not a zodiac sign that y'all really want to be linking up with. Not because I say so, but I've seen the track record. But the point is that for a lot of you Sagittarius, a lot of you Sagittarius be trying to help people. And people don't really, the, the goofy people don't take your help into consideration. They don't appreciate it. And that's what makes a lot of you Sagittarius go cold hearted is, and don't want to be in relationships. A lot of you Sagittarius don't want to be in relationships for a long time because Y'all, y'all try to turn goofy people into people that are the straight and narrow and decent. And you need to understand that that's impossible, Sagittarius. You two all over the place is the point that I'm trying to say about y'all. That's impossible. If the person doesn't have it, if the person doesn't have the decency in them, you're wasting your time. And this is why character, having a spiritual compass, having good health, having, you know, a vision, right? Foresight. These things are good. Having character is a good thing. But when you're trying to, but when you're trying to help people and you have this mentality, and a lot of you Sagittarius do, but a lot of you Sagittarius don't know the game like that, and you don't really put it into practice. A lot of you Sagittarius ends up getting you end up getting tricked into situations because you're you 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 do. Honestly speaking, you delude yourself into things. Like a lot of y'all will, a lot of y'all will have this idea 
And when and the thing is, is that that idea of what it is that you thought, even though it's a good idea, right? Like it's a it's a positive idea. This these people are great when you when you you and you throw yourself in it. And unfortunately, sometimes those people may not be as great as you thought. But then the re but then the real people who keep it real with you be giving them a hard time. So, you know, the opposite, the opposite zodiac sign of Sagittarius is Gemini. Gemini's be doing the same thing. Gemini's be, you know, the people who you're not really interested in as far as Gemini's is concerned. A lot of the Gemini's, the people who they not interested in, those, those are the people who who will the Gemini's will give them a hard time. And the people who don't know about Gemini's will be like, why are you giving me such a hard time the way that you do? You just, you know, you busting my chops for what reason? And the and they the Gemini will like that person. But then the person, the Gemini, the 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 people that the Gemini's are like, you know, hey, what's going on and putting on a sweet face? Those are the people that the Gemini's do not like romantically at all. Like they don't even feel any kind of spark with. And that's the situation, though. That's the catch 22. And a lot of you Sagittarius, because y'all share an axis, y'all have that in common. So a lot of you Sagittarius will be thinking, well, why, why this is happening? Because you're getting it crisscross is why. The people who you should be listening to, you, you, the e your ego is big sometimes. So a lot of y'all be thinking, I don't want this person to tell me what to do. Okay, fine. And if the person respects you, they step off and they let you make the mistake on your own. But then when you make the mistake, then a lot of y'all are like, oh, what happened? What happened is you put yourself in a situation and people are trying to look out for you. So the thing is that the three of pentacles and the knight of pentacles, what can you do about it? The three and the knight of pentacles is stop listening to your own delusions and really do the research and understand that not everybody is a positive thing. Not everybody is a negative thing. And to actually straighten your life out. The people who you know have your back, stop trying to act like you rough and tough with them and show them that you care blatantly. And, and don't be afraid to tell them you cool with them. You, you, you appreciate their, their, their company. You appreciate that counsel. You know, stop trying to play the tough stuff. Because when you're doing it to people who really rock with you, your family, your close friends, all the Sagittarius that I know always trying to play rough and tough with me. And then they and this is the situation that ends up getting them hurt because they play soft with the people who they should not be doing that to. They don't they don't tell me that they appreciate me. Right. And I'm just using myself as an example because I know a lot of Sagittarius off screen and on here, but off screen. And the situation is, is that it's OK to admit that certain things are wrong to the people who, you know, got your back. Right. You don't have to, to be, you don't have to put on, you don't have to perform, you know, you don't have to perform, you don't have to put on. People who really got your back, you shouldn't have to perform for them. It's not a performance. It's not a, it's not a, a performance on Broadway type stuff. It, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and show you how, how goofy the thought process is that you have to perform. The less you perform is the more you get people on your side. What does this have to do with the relationship? Because you go, what, what this has to do is you go after people who are not good for you to be in a relationship with. And you open up to them and you get hurt and you wonder and you wanna you wanna come back and you're like, wow, I can't believe you doing all this and you doing all that. Cause you're helping out the wrong individuals. But then you don't like suggestions, some of y'all. Now, for the Sagittarius who are over here and they understand and they, and they realize to not take what it is I'm saying personally and they have some more stuff to work on, you already know what time it is. You, you can already admit that I'm right and that I'm not necessarily, I'm not throwing, I'm not like taking jabs at you or any of that type of stuff. I'm just being 100 with you. So to, let's clarify the... Um, Let's clarify the death card. The tower, which is Scorpio. So Scorpio influence is in this heavily. The star, the two of wands, the ten of pentacles. Right. 
You need to leave these, these goofy people who don't appreciate you at all alone. Right? Right? Stop trying to play rough and tough because, if, because especially Virgos, but people who know you, people who, who really see you, they know that a lot of that rough and tough stuff is an act. You just as delicate as, as Gemini and you want love. And that's, oh, and see, that's what I'm trying to say. That's okay. It's okay. A horse is a sensitive animal. A horse, which Sagittarius is based off of, is a, is a sensitive animal. A horse is a majestic animal, but it's a sensitive animal nonetheless. A horse needs a lot of love and grooming and looking after. It's be, a horse is beautiful. But a horse is defensive by nature. It tries to keep people on the outside or keep um, people or other animals from its proximity and stuff like this by being wild because of the fact that they, you know, because the horse needs a lot of love. When I, when I was a little one, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. When I was a little one, we actually went to a farm. I, me and my class actually did go to a farm where you had an, an equestrian, right, person who raises horses. They had a whole farm, different animals. That person probably was rich when I think about it. But the point is, is that I got to feed the animals. I got to feed, the whole class got to. I got to feed the horses. I got to feed the cows and stuff like this. And the horse is a big animal. But the, you could tell because I was scared at first to feed the horse because I thought the horse would bite my fingers off. The horse ate out of my hands and even licked my hand to let me know that it's cool and that the horse isn't going to hurt me and it's, it's going to be gentle. And the horse, and I realized that horses need a lot of love. It's not about, it's not about trying to act like you tough. The more you do that with the wrong people is the worst result you're going to get. Show love to your family members and your friends. Stop showing love to the people who want to be goofy because you try, you're so busy trying to pull that out of them. That's a waste of your time. And if you don't want to listen to what it is that I have to say, continue to go ahead and, and go through the karmic cycle over and over again. The two of wands and the ten of pentacles. Again, you got other things that you got to worry about, Sagittarius. Because Sagittarius... I'm going to stop talking because Sagittarius don't really understand because because a lot of y'all, y'all don't y'all don't like listening because because some of y'all, not all of y'all, but a lot of y'all don't like listening to suggestions. Let me just go ahead, read the other card and get out of here because a lot of y'all will, will take some of this stuff that I'm saying personally because you think I'm bashing y'all when I'm trying to show y'all the potential that Sagittarius has. Sagittarius, all Sagittarius has the potential to being rich, powerful, but y'all waste your time on BS and people wasting your time and not listening to suggestions when people tell y'all goofy behinds, stop messing with individuals that are going to waste your time. But let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Never mind me. What do I know? So you have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Strength. So this is about how a lot of you Sagittarius, right? You will move forward, but you will have to make sure that people who are going to be in your life are reciprocating that energy and they want to be there and they cherish being there and they cherish you. They want to be in a relationship with you and they want to be in a situation with y'all. So let's clarify. So I'm done with clarifications, but that's the end of the reading. Um, that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, we have 4,494 subscribers. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Hit the notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos.